welcome to naresh it let's understand complete list of data science or artificial intelligence library so today we understood one by one and let's follow that so the first thing data analysis to build the data analyst applications we use various libraries and tools we work with data and perform analysis and create many visualizations so let's here is the list of popular libraries which commonly used by data analyst so the first one is numpy everybody know this is like this library we use to work with multi dimensions arrays and metrics as well then pandas so pandas were used for data frame like cleaning transforming and analyzing the data matplotlib we work with visualization seaborn when we work with statistics visualizations we use this library a lot and plotly bookie scipy stats model beautiful soap so each and every library descriptions given here and also i will share the complete list of this pdf to you so you can understand each and every library along with the definitions and the very beautiful part is of this beautiful soap so this library we use for web scrapping when you extract the data from the websites we use this library and then dash and folium sql akami arrow geopandas so when you work with uh, operations and mapping so you use geopandas cufflinks scrappy desk and arrow pandas profiling and scipy stats so this is sub packages of scipy for statistical functions next one let's go to machine learning so most of the time we largely use scikit-learn library to work with the machine learning algorithms like regressions classifications clusterings and many more but still we can also use algorithms with XGBoost, lightgbm cat boost and we build these algorithms with the help of stats models as well next natural language processing so natural language processing that the world grows with more text data and based on the text we have a language model and then large language model so all the startup is going on so now the, for nlp the best toolkit or the best library which is nltk natural language toolkit and we work with spacey gensim text blob transformer hugging face stanford nlp allen nlp polyglot and PyTorch transformer so these these PyTorch provides pre-trained models for PyTorch including models like hugging face and transformers library and also you can use rasa nlu and fast text so this is all libraries belongs to nlp then deep learning and neural network so the deep learning the top most priority is tensorflow PyTorch kiras Tiano mxnet and cntk microsoft cognitive toolkit and torch then computer vision so computer vision we have some fantastic library which provide toolkits and algorithms for image and video processing like opencv dleap scikit images image ai fast ai im utils and vgg image annotator so i don't want to read each and every uh, definitions of these library i already made it so it's given to you so you can watch it and you can understand each and every library so the moment when you understood these libraries that means this learning these libraries along with practical would make you give you exposure of data scientist so the next one i image pre-trained model so what is meant by pre-trained models pre-trained models are built on large data sets for specific tasks are often used to starting point to transfer learning or feature extractions that means i mean you cannot load the big data on your machine so some of the packages we have for image classifications model we have resnet vgg 16 and vgg 19 inceptions v3 mobile net and dense net so object detections model we have faster rcnn yellow ssd and fes net debt and then we have semantic segmentations model we have unit deep lab v3 plus segnet and psp net so these are the pre-trained uh, model which 
uh, for specific specific purposes we use this pre-trained model and then for nlp we BERT, which bi-directional encoder and this is very pre-trained model for natural language understanding and we have a gpt so this is transform based language model and then roberta robustly optimized BERT and then distilled bird so distilled bird versions is a faster deployment for speech recognition model we have deep deep speech webnate and asr transformer for face recognition model we have vgg phase 2 and open phase and face net so let's understand reinforcement learning for reinforcement learning which we have open ai gym stable baselines rlib tensor force tier FL temporary difference reinforcement learning Kira's RL and reinforcement learning toolkit so let's go with generative AI which is very famous now which is PyTorch generative models hugging face transformer open AI GPT and GANs in PyTorch style GAN 2 big GAN VAE variations auto encoder M unit multi-model unsupervised images to image translations web GAN and all the libraries we have so let's understand large language model so when you work with large language model we have gpt3 gpt2 bird t5 text to text roberta and advanced gans like dali clip vqva gpt4 ai art ai prompt ai prompt engineer amazon bedrock auto gpt google germany and g S G E, so which is Google Search Labs G S E. So we have plenty of these auto encoders we have. So I want you to the moment when you learn all the libraries, that means you explore into the data science or AI. So learning AI that doesn't mean that you has to be learned this comprehensive list of libraries. I hope understand and so to understand get into this all about libraries so please watch the or register the class which we meet on one-on-one -on -one. thank you and see you have a good day